Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Turquoise Kitchen. I'm Nicole. And I'm Gina. And today we're making... Buffalo Chicken, chicken Dip. dip. <laughs> Step one, gather your ingredients. The freshest ingredients. <laughs> so first... <laughs> first, we have some cream cheese. <laughs> yeah. I know you like it. First, we have some cream some cheese. Little. First we, no, I'm fine. First we have cream cheese. Scallions. Frank's red hot sauce. And of course chicken and cheese, which are currently being refrigerated. So this recipe is very basic. It's something great you can make if you're in a rush. <laughs> it takes about 25 minutes to actually bake in the oven. It's pretty basic. So, um... Yeah, so this year, like, Nicole and I are going to my aunt's again. <laughs> Get back out, Nicole. Come on, seriously, you need a cup. Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Turquoise Kitchen. I'm Nicole. I'm Gina. And this is Elvis. And today we're making buffalo, buffalo chicken, chicken dip. dip. Step one: <laughs> gather your ingredients. The freshest ingredients. Um, to make this buffalo chicken dip, it's pretty simple. Only a few ingredients, and doesn't very. It doesn't really take. <laughs> it doesn't take long to cook. So we, we have, have red. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Step so, one. We already did this, Nicole. So the ingredients for this dip is pretty simple. Um, we have um, cream cheese, which um, it could be whipped. Okay. Bye, Mom. Um, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Scallions. And cheese and chicken, which are currently being on Monterey Jack cheese. Cheddar blend. <laughs> So, right now, actually, well, tonight Nicole and I are going to my aunt's um, <laughs> Christmas party we went to last year when we made these stuffed mushrooms, which are currently in the oven, and it smells- Would you like to take a peek? It smells fabulous in here. There they are. They look great, don't they? Okay, so, to start, in a medium saucepan, over moderate heat, we are going to melt the cream cheese until smooth for about three minutes. So now we're gonna melt our cream cheese. So we're just gonna put it in. I actually mixed um, regular and whipped because we had both in the kitchen. So, turquoise kitchen. <laughs> and both. So I'm just gonna put this in our saucepan. And you wanna put that at medium heat? <laughs> Not really. I don't know what that is. Okay, so this is gonna, oh, we already see it's heating up. Um, so we're gonna let that melt. Yep, nice and finely. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the next step, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your chicken and you're gonna shred it up in little pieces, like so. And you wanna put that into a bowl that you can mix other ingredients in. Shred our chicken. Have chunks either way, but it's easier to eat shredded chicken. And you want to use a whole rotisserie chicken, just get the good parts on. on. This is like these are like those rotisserie chickens you can buy at <laughs> your local grocery store. It's usually where you get rotisserie chickens from. You're right. <laughs> to the bowl, so it's adding up pretty nicely. The cream cheese is still melting on the burner. How's it doing? It's coming 
nice. Do you want to mix it a little? This is some nice chicken. Here come our mushrooms. Oh yeah, you can take a sneak peek at the mushrooms. They're looking pretty good. All right, looks like our cream cheese is ready. Hi, cream cheese, melted. All right, we're gonna mix this in with the chicken. No, don't worry about it. Looking good. Looking good. Can't wait for this Christmas party. This holiday party. My holiday. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, I heard. What? They're not gonna listen to any of this. Yeah, they are. Because we're peeling fast. I know, but. Make sure all your chicken gets gets um down in the bowl. So. This is such good chicken. So all right, we, we have our shredded chicken all done. Okay, so the next step is you want to add the other ingredients into the bowl, which is half a cup of ranch dressing and half a cup of hot sauce. In the mean in the meantime, I'm gonna chop some scallions because we're gonna put the scallions on top. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm gonna add the hot sauce, which I'm only gonna do a third of a cup. It takes a while to come out of the bottle. Alrighty, everyone. I'm gonna chop the scallions. And a third of a cup, and it should be should be good. Now I'm gonna chop the scallions. Nicole. Great technique. This is like just a good amount of scallions for the <laughs> good amount of scallions for the garnish, you know? Looks good. 
So we have our scallions all chopped. And um, we have all of our ingredients in the bowl. Looks yummy. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix it up with a spoon. You can just smell the buffalo. So we're just basically gonna keep stirring this until. So we're just gonna keep stirring this until um, it's all kind of all mixed up. Um, and we're also gonna taste test it to see if it's the if it has the level of heat. Party. We have yes. some older folks going. They um, aren't too fond of the spice. The bite. So that's why we're gonna take precautions. Very mild, very delicious. But I say we had a little bit more. So a drop, drop or two. Yeah. yeah. Get all the chunks of cream cheese um, unchunked. <laughs> Next, what you want to do is you take um, cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. And you want to put some in there. We're going to put them in and then we're going to put it on top. in there. Just add a little cheese into the mic. Let's take a peek at the mushrooms. Wow. Those look incredible. Looks like we are just about finished. So next what you want to do is we put the cheese in there. So you want to put it in like a pan. You can either use one of these disposable type pans, which is easier for travel or if you're going to a party. Or you can put it in a baking dish, it doesn't matter. If you want to just put it on. Once these once I take these mushrooms out, I'm going to preheat the oven. To bake this. Make sure it's spread evenly so that it cooks evenly. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, silly chef. Um, so I guess I'll put a couple scallions in now. And then we're gonna add the cheese for a nice, like, not too much cheesy layer on top. You don't wanna add too much because then it'll harden and then you won't be able to dip your chips in. Good. So, here we go. There's our buffalo chicken dip. And, um, we have the oven preheating, as you can see. So we're now putting it in the oven, preheated to 425 degrees. 